Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today I will try to answer a question that many people have in their heads, which is whether or not it is a good moment right now to invest in airline stocks. And before we go into the video, just bear in mind that I will be talking about it from a long-term investor perspective. And in order to answer this, we first need to have a look at what is the current reality that we are facing and we are seeing in the stock market at the moment. And the main reality and a summary of it would be that all tech companies are being extremely highly valued at price to earnings ratios much higher than the average that they have had during these past years. Of course, many of them have been benefited by the pandemic and they have increased their numbers, but probably not to the extent to justify the current price to earnings ratios. And just in case anyone watching does not know what a price to earning ratio is, it essentially tells us at how many times a company is trading its earnings in the stock market. So for instance, let's take and imagine a company that reports earnings for a year of $1 per share and it is currently trading at $10 per share. This means that it's trading at 10 times earnings, which in this case would mean that this stock would be trading at a price to earnings ratio of 10. And we can agree more or less with the use of this metric, but generally it is said that you should try to buy stocks when they are at price to earnings ratio below their average. But as I said, this is just another metric to be considered and we should not base our decision on that because usually if a company is trading below its price to earnings ratio, it means that something is going on and we should probably investigate a lot more before just diving in the stock and purchasing some shares of it. In any case, going back to what we were saying before, we have that tech companies are trading at price to earnings ratio much higher than their average. For instance, Apple is currently trading at 34.5 price to earnings ratio, while their average during the past 10 years has been of 15.6 times earnings. And looking at this past year, 2019, for instance, its shares were trading at 18.4 times earnings. And right now, as we said, they are trading at 34.5, which means that they have almost double in this metric, which basically means that their price has just jumped massively. Tesla, for instance, experienced a similar boom. And we need to remind ourselves that Tesla has only been able to be profitable for, I think, the past four quarters. Uh, which means that it went from a negative um, price to earnings ratio, since it was reporting losses, to a positive one right now of 353 times earnings, which is of course just insane. And finally, just to end with another example, we have that Google is currently trading at 33.7 times earnings, while its average has been around 29. Whether it is more or less, all tech companies have above average price to earnings ratio, and when this happens, it usually leads to below average returns. While it is undoubtable that many of these companies are great businesses, as I said, they are clearly being benefited by the current situation and they are very likely to see a correction in the next weeks or months to come. In fact, if we look at the stock market, we have already seen a pretty substantial correction since the beginning of September, which just basically showcased with what I just mentioned before. But in any case, uh, we could qualify that tech stocks are very hot at the moment. And when something is hot, I would certainly avoid getting on it. Of course, if you're already in, then stay in, that's perfect. But if you're just about to start investing, then I would probably stay out. In fact, I took this from the greater investor of all times, which is Warren Buffett, who once said that you should be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. And this, in other words, just means that you should invest in stocks when nobody wants to invest and you should stay out of the stocks that everyone talks and everyone is investing in. Of course, there is much more to it and you should not just invest in a company because it's cheap. You should do much more research. But I think that this quote has really represented the style of investing of Warren Buffett and it has really, really worked well for him with average um, annual returns of 17.1% since 1985 with the average, so beating even the average of the stock market, which stands around 10.5%. With all of this behind, and if we were to follow Warren Buffett's advice, we should probably look for different things to invest in other than the tech sector. And which is the sector that everyone is very fearful about and that nobody wants to invest in? Well, probably uh, all tourism companies and also gas, so energy companies. But in this video, we will focus only on airlines. 
But as we just said, we should look a bit deeper before making a decision because if people are scared about something, it is probably because of a reason. And the reason in this case is pretty simple, which is that we are in the middle of a pandemic that is killing people, governments have imposed restrictions and people are not able or do not want to travel. And if people don't want or just cannot travel to other places, they don't take flights and airlines are basically out of business. Seeing this, we could just straight away categorize it as bad, but as with everything in life, it has good and bad points. If we look at it from a company's point of view, we could just say straight away, oh, this is very bad because they are struggling a lot. But what is the opportunity behind this moment that we're living in, in which everything looks very dark? Maybe if they manage to go through these tough times, then they will become leaders in the future. Or also looking at it from an investor point of view, if you are already invested, then okay, maybe you are saying, oh, that's the worst investment of my life, I should have sold these shares and so on. But maybe you can just take it from a different point of view and just add more shares to your position and do dollar cost averaging and lowering your average initial investment. And if you're not in, then this can also be a great opportunity of investment and something that we will be just discussing now. All right, so if we check the three biggest airline stocks in the S&P 500, we can see that all of them are trading between 35 to 50% less than what they were trading at on January this past year, or so this year, sorry, uh, just right before the crash. And I mean, it certainly makes sense because the situation is currently not the same as the one that we had back then. But we can also see if we follow the graph that it has been, its prices have been increasing since that moment, since the start of the crash. Um, as we get closer or we seem to be getting closer to getting a vaccine and governments have a bit loosened their restrictions. And the question of the video and what many people have in their heads right now is, is it a good time to buy into airlines now? Should we maybe wait or should we just forget it all about airlines and not even consider them as a potential investment? My answer made simple would be yes. I think that it is now a good moment to invest in airline stocks. But let me go a bit deeper into why do I think that. First things first, the fact that I say that it is a good moment to invest in airlines does not mean that it is a good moment to invest just in any airline out there, since in fact I would be super careful with that. It is certainly not the same to get one stock of Southwest Airlines or one stock of American Airlines. Yes, one of them is trading at 50% discount and the other one only at 30% discount. But there is of course a reason for it. And this reason is that the financials of Southwest Airlines are looking much better than those of American Airlines. And just to give you a brief example, we have that the debt ratio of Southwest Airlines stands at 69.44%, which can be considered relatively conservative, while that of American Airlines is currently at 104.9%, which essentially just means that they have more liabilities than assets. And this is certainly not good. In both cases, both companies are backed up by the US government, but American Airlines is in a much more delicate position. So with all of this, what I'm trying to get to is that we should try to invest in airlines that will first and more importantly get through this crisis and secondly, will hopefully get out of this even stronger. Because there is one thing that I want to leave clear and I hope that nobody has any doubts about it, which is that the future of the airline industry has a lot of potential. And if you really don't think that, then of course, forget about investing in airline stocks because this is the base of everything. If I invest in airline stocks is because I think that the sector has future. And I don't know which airline will be part of this future, but I know that there will be a future with airlines. In light of this and the current situation, in my opinion, there are three main airlines that are more likely than others to sustain this period of recession and come out of it even stronger. And these three airlines are Delta, Southwest and Ryanair. And no, it is not because I enjoy more flying with these than others, it is just because their financials are much better prepared for the crisis and to sustain it and come out of it even stronger. But all of this is looking at the very long term. But even in the short term, I still think that they have upside potential. The reason for it is very simple, which is that as soon as a vaccine is found or announced that it will start being distributed, these stocks will probably increase in price massively. 
and I don't know when this will happen, but when this happens, I'm sure that they will jump up because it is all that many investors are waiting for since they are like me. They think that the industry has potential, but they are maybe afraid of the risk, that the obvious risk that they have. And probably when this happens, we will no longer see these airlines trading at 30 or 50% discounts anymore. And even looking at now, in which we still don't have a vaccine, people still want to travel. With the reduction in restrictions from the governments, people have started traveling again. Checking the overall traffic evolution since the pandemic started, we can see a clear improvement. We are still numbers of 40% less traffic than the same period of last year 2019, but it is much better than the almost 100% decline during the months of April and May. But I understand that the key factor in all of these of airlines is risk, and this is something that many people are not willing to take. But with US airlines, for instance, this risk is kind of taken away because the government has publicly said that it would do anything to back up airlines. And in fact, it has not just said that, but the first stimulus packages to airlines have already been distributed. And when the most powerful economy in the world is behind US airlines, I would certainly feel pretty comfortable investing in them. So to sum up, yes, I certainly believe that it is a good moment to invest in airline stocks. <laughs> Maybe now I say this and then the next week another market crash starts and airline stocks fall massively. But then if this is the case, I will just add more to my position and lower my average buying price. Um, but I would much rather do this and be invested in airlines than wait on the sidelines just for another market crash to happen. In other words, I'd much rather buy a stock at a reasonable price that has a lot of upside potential still than try to get it even cheaper and stay out of it and never be invested in it just because I wanted to get it cheaper. I mean, sometimes this might work, you might end up getting it cheaper, but sometimes it won't and then you will regret it. But summarizing briefly, the main reasons for my answer are the following. The first one, as we said, is that the industry has potential. Secondly, the stocks are trading at 30 to 50% discounts. There has already been an improvement in the airline traffic with more people taking flights. And also there is an upcoming vaccine that as soon as it's found, these stocks will skyrocket. But with these reasons, there are also some considerations which we have mentioned, but are, these are mainly two. The first one is that we should invest in airlines and very importantly, that have very good financials and balance sheets and that are able to sustain this period. And secondly, we should invest ideally in airlines that are backed up by governments, since this means that governments will put in money so that they don't go bankrupt. So with this last point of the summary, I will leave it for today. Um, I would like to know what are your thoughts on airlines? What do you think about them? Do you think that it's a good moment to invest in them now? Should we wait? Should we just forget about it? What is it that you're currently doing? Please let me know all of these in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. If you enjoyed the video, then please make sure to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're not yet subscribed. And as always, see you next time.